Hey guys, and welcome back to Audit Watch, the best place to find your favorite police interactions on the internet. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoy, and subscribe if you're new around here. But anyways, let's get straight into today's episode. You want to see my ID? Yes, sir. For what? Well, because you're filming uh, police officers' personal cars. This video is brought to us by Central Cali News Network. Be sure to check out their channel, which will be linked down in the description. Don't forget to subscribe to their channel and to give their videos a watch for more like this one. The video begins with a man filming outside of the Tracy City Hall. One cop confronts the man but seems to just ask questions, so no issues there. But another cop then comes out and demands for the man's ID immediately because the man is filming cop cars. You guys are going to want to see what the man does at the end. Hi, how you doing? Good, good. Good. Are you here for the graduation? No. No? Just take and film? Sure. What's your name and badge number? Sergeant Lopez. Badge number? Sergeant Lopez, 197. 197. Uh -huh. Yeah, just take a picture. Okay. Have yeah. a great day, okay? You too, man. Thank you. All right. <laughs> How's it going, bud? Something I can help you with? No, I'm good. Okay. Can I see your ID, please? You want to see my ID? Yes, sir. For what? Well, because you're filming uh, police officers' personal cars and patrol cars, and Isn't I just want to make sure you're not a risk to the police department. Okay. You can film, hold it up so you can get a good film. Oh, it's my First Amendment right to film. You are. Okay, can you I get are. your name and badge number before we start? Yes, my name is Officer De La Vida, Okay. and I'm just asking for your ID. So am, I, am I being detained or am I free you're to go? You're not being detained. Okay, then I'll just walk away. Okay. Leave. Thank you. But I need to remind you something, okay? You don't have to remind me. 148 point G. Do you know what that leave? stands for? Just leave. Do you know the. If I'm free to leave, I'm free to stay. Okay. Correct? Well, then I'll stand here and talk to you. Whatever. Okay. What makes you What makes you want to come over here and film us? My constitutional protected activity. Okay. Well, I, the reason why I'm contacting you for the web is there's really no reason to be filming police officers' personal cars, okay? So, I'm asking you politely not to do it. Okay? And I'll politely reject that. Okay, okay. you do what you gotta do. 148.G. Look up that penal code, sir. You can't just ID me for not breaking any laws. I can ask for ID anytime. You can ask. Yeah, yeah I can refuse I to. You? No, 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 I didn't say that. I can refuse to, uh, yeah. The first and second cops were certainly very different in the way that they conducted themselves towards the men recording. The first was not so bad, just asking some questions, but the second, my oh my was he different. I guess now if you film cop cars, that means the cop can demand for your ID according to this second cop. Well done to the man recording for educating the cop and also for refusing to ID as well, and not giving the cop what he wanted as it wasn't justified. What do you guys think about this one? Let me know down in the comments section. You we, were told to, we were told we to cuff to you. Detain you. So you, you were told to cuff me? We were told to you don't have you. police powers. How can you cuff me? This video is brought to us by Utah Defender. Be sure to check out their channel, which will be linked down in the description. Don't forget to subscribe to their channel and to give their videos a watch for more like this one. The video begins at a federal building in Ogden, Utah. The security called the cops on the man because apparently he's causing a disturbance, all because he didn't want to ID when entering, and also because he apparently used swear words. These guards have clearly never heard of the First and Fourth Amendments. They then accuse him of causing a disturbance. You're not allowed to leave. He is getting out of control. He's not recording us. I'm not out of control. I'm scared. Sir, get out of my face. Twice. I'm not even Get out of my face. Then move. 
I have the right to stand wherever FPS I want here, to. You right. guys are acting like idiots. Get out of your face. Right, let's get a little You're causing the disturbance because you wouldn't let me freely travel through. I have the right to I say whatever I want about you, and that's where you guys got butt hurt. Didn't want to hear what Sir, I had to say. it wasn't even us. It was, it, was the, it was the guest coming through that asked you to leave. Uh, you geez, guys caused the disturbance cannot, because you wouldn't you listen to what I said to you. I told you, you, you the First Amendment gives me the right was, all we had to, to do, not give you my ID. Then you said it. I can call ID. you any name I not, that I want to. I did not ask you for I can your call ID. you any. I told you to come through I know, your ID. and then I came I through, and then I said you guys When you guys butt hurt, you wouldn't listen. You're causing a disturbance. That's swearing. That's, that's, that's not against the law, language. it's the First Amendment. No, you cannot be arrested you, for that. I'm you not don't arresting even know, you. You don't know anything. I'm not even arresting you. Don't use that I'm as a defense. I'm saying you are attempting to no. pass through causing a disturbance at a federally mandated building. Take, uh, take a seat. Either take a seat or you're going to cuff us. You we have were told to take a seat. We were told we to cuff you. We have to detain you. So you, you were told to, be, to cuff me? We were told to you don't have you. police powers. How can you turn cuff around, me? Then. No, I'm not going to turn around. Well, thank you for sitting down like I asked you in the first place. Please. You guys Stop. are causing the disturbance. No, when I told you I didn't have to show my ID because you had no probable cause. Yes, you did. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. I could use any dirty word I want towards you. In your policy, you can't, but I can. The First Amendment gives me the right to do that. Let him talk. Let on federal property. We need him removed. Okay, I did not cause a disturbance. Okay. Paulson. Yes. Sir. Okay, let me tell you what, what happened. I came in. I had an issue the last time I went to my congressman with one of their security people named Matthews. Okay? He was going to physically put his hands on me the last time I came in. Who did, sir? A guy named Matthews the last time I came in. Like security? Yeah, security. Okay. And then there's a, the chubby guy on the end over there said I could sign my name anything I wanted to. I could sign it Mickey Mouse or whatever. So when I came in today, I did sign that. Then they wanted my ID. And I told them, unless you have probable cause I've committed a crime, you can't ask me for my ID. So then when they hypered up and wanted my ID, I said, again, I, I, I clarified that. And he comes around the door and I said, I want your sergeant. He says he is in charge. Okay. And they said I caused the disturbance because they're all yelling at me. Okay, okay. I can say any dirty word I want to. It's protected under the First Amendment. You know that? Okay. So they caused the disturbance because they wouldn't listen to me. They wouldn't listen to the fact that I have the right not to show them my ID. You cannot trespass me from a, a public building. Did you know that? Yeah, absolutely. No, you cannot. You better check with Absolutely. your. You better no. You, you can no. It's not private property. It's, no, I'm demanding that you call your lieutenant and talk to him before you end up in a lawsuit. Yeah, you have to. When I ask you. It looks to me like the only people who are causing a disturbance are the security guards. Remember, all of what happened was because the guards wanted the man to show his ID, and the man knew he didn't need to do that. Therefore, the disturbance was all caused by the security guards. It was certainly clear that these guards had never heard of the First and Fourth Amendments before. I can't believe that they even accused him of causing a disturbance. Then the cop arrived and somehow believed that the building was private. My oh my, I really can't believe this one. This video is brought to us by Rago Monkey. Be sure to check out their channel, which will be linked down in the description. Don't forget to subscribe to their channel and to give their videos a watch for more like this one. The video begins with a man and Joey confronting an officer who is parked on the sidewalk. And we all know that if this officer saw someone from the public doing this, then they would fine them for doing so. The officer did have a cool attitude, but sadly for him, that won't unpark his car from the sidewalk. I'm leaving right away. I need to grab some at the station and I'll run out. Um, can you move the vehicle? Can you move it right now? Can you move it right now on the camera? I need to look good for you. Can you put it on there? You can put it on there too. You don't care. You don't want to go to the station. You grab some truck. Not a bunch of bars. Let me go pop it. Oh, you're going to go pop a thing? You can go look at the camera. 
Because I understand. I, I don't I, need to be. I know who you guys are. You I don't understand. Have your bike. Let me explain to you what's going on. Right, I'm gonna go get my body cam because I'm going into work right, right now. Right. We dock our body cam at the station. Time. Time. It's 2 p.m. How much time you go? 2 p.m. From 2 to what time? 2 to midnight. So you know what? Your body cam. I'm gonna go get my body cam, put it on my chest, and go to work. Officer, okay. thank you for talking to us. Of course. But one thing, you guys have a ramp in the back. <laughs> Bro, why don't you, why don't you, yeah, why don't you can I use that as only for, for prisoners? Okay, okay, okay. We cannot jam it up as only for, for, for prisoners. All right, all right. That parking lot is not open. All right, well, all right. Not about the law, you know that, right? I'm not about the law. Oh. Your, your demeanor is pretty cool to me, bro. I don't know, man. I'm just calling hey, you guys. Up. I know who you guys are. I know, bro. I understand. You know, what we you call doing. you guys out on things. I understand. I completely understand. I, I know what you're doing. I completely understand. I'm not here to cause any trouble. I respect you the same way you respect me. Respect the law. Thank okay? you. Oh, the only thing I'm doing is grabbing my camera. I'm leaving. I gotta. I gotta go to work. That's all right. I'm doing is because I need to work right away. All right. I Thank work, you, Carbello. So in three minutes, I'm gonna wait here three minutes. If, if this is what I'm. This if you're not back, I'm gonna file complaint. This is what I'm doing for you. I'm gonna, gonna, I'm gonna get in my car. Listen up. Listen up. I'm gonna get in my car. I'm gonna leave. Okay, you know why? Because, nah, you, bro, you, because you, you know what you just said? You just, you, no, 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 listen, 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 listen. It's not a fine. It's not. You just said if I'm there for three minutes, you'll give me a fine. Uh -huh. So I, I'm going to file a complaint on you, bro. It's not, it's not. It's not about that law, bro. It's just fine. I didn't it's do nothing. Not, you guys gotta follow the law, bro. You could, you're the boss. Just leave the car there. Bro, just no, leave the car there and go get your car. You don't own the sidewalk, bro. You don't own the sidewalk. You don't own the sidewalk. I didn't do nothing. To be fair to this officer, after you've already made this mistake of parking on the sidewalk, the least you can do is have a cool attitude towards the person that's recording you. And that's exactly what the officer did to the two men recording him. Obviously, like I said, doesn't change the fact that he was parked on the sidewalk, but it makes the situation not as bad. I'd like to know what you guys think about this. If this officer saw someone from the public doing this, do you think that they would fine them for doing so? It is unusual, I would imagine, but am I breaking a law? Well, I don't think so. This clip is brought to us by True North Transparency. Make sure you guys go and subscribe to their channel, and while you're there, be sure to check out their videos if you enjoy this one in our video. But yeah, make sure to check out their channel, and it'll be linked down in the description. The clip starts off with a man filming outside of the Halton Police 12 Division. Two cops then come out to confront him and question him about why he's recording. They do clearly understand it's not against the law, but they do keep fishing for something. Regional Police Service, number 12 division. So we saw this one earlier. This is 6568. How are you? Good, how are you? Pretty good, thank you. May I ask what you're doing? You can ask, sure. Okay. Do you know what I'm doing? I'll give you a guess. You got it. For what purpose? Pardon me? For what purpose? Just a little personal thing I'm working on. Actually, I wanted a picture of your cruiser. Okay. You can stay with me. Go ahead. <laughs> Take a picture of my cruiser. I was hoping to get you going into the back parking lot. So what's up? I'm making inquiries into what you're doing because this is unusual. It is unusual, I would imagine, but am I breaking a law? Well, I don't think so, not yet. That's, you nailed it. What, what, uh, what are you gonna... using this footage for? That is for me to decide. Okay. Yeah. Right? And this here, so what's your name and badge number? Doer. Yep. Badge 7689. number? 7689. What's your rank? Police constable. Constable? Yeah. And this fellow here? 30331. Three. Gart. Gart. Gartner. Yes, sir. 
Awesome. Us, is that your personal cell phone? No, it's my work phone. It is? Okay. I can get a freedom of information request on that, can't I? You just made a public record. You can make an application for it. Where yes. do you go to do that? Okay. Is I'm your body cam? I'm going to let you uh, do your thing, okay? Where do you go to get that? Headquarters. Oh, the headquarters, freedom okay. Freedom of information, sir. Where's your body cameras? We don't have them yet. No joke, you guys don't have body cameras. No. Being fairly evasive with yeah, answers, but no I don't need to give them unless I'm breaking a law, okay. right? All right, you're well, investigating. Let you do your thing, okay, sir? Absolutely. Have a good day. How are you? Very clean police car here. So the lady was absolutely correct. I'm breaking no laws. Being here and recording is in violation of your group. They really couldn't just leave it where the man hadn't done anything illegal and what he did was not against the law. But of course, they had to keep fishing for more to find something. And also why in the first place did they even feel the need to question the man when they know all too well that he isn't doing anything illegal. But to be fair to them in the end, they did leave the man in peace so that he could continue to record. What do you guys think about this one? Let me know down in the comments section. Awesome. What's your name and number? Deputy Turf Pichettino, bag number 9210, Bay County Sheriff's Office. So Just make, make sure everything goes smoothly. This clip is brought to us by Michigan Constitutional Crusader. Make sure you guys go and subscribe to their channel, and while you're there, be sure to check out their videos if you enjoy this one in our video. Make sure to check out their channel, and it'll be linked down in the description. The clip starts off with a group of auditors filming at the Monitor Township Hall. The staff call the cops, thinking that they're only allowed to film certain people. What a joke, I mean, come on. Two cops then arrive, and are absolutely perfect. He's stuck, they're, they're still stuck on that. We can't record. Uh, no, they call people. We can't record anybody what? but they elected call, officials. No. They called Nemo one. Yeah. yeah. They did. Really? The deputies on the way. Oh. So he said we can't record anybody but elected oh, officials. They got the fire home. They left. Hey guys. Hey man, how's it going? Not bad. How about you? Good. All right. So far. Awesome. What's your name and badge number? Deputy Turf Pichettino, badge number nine two one zero, Bay County Sheriff's so. Office. So Just make, here, make sure everything goes smoothly. Deputy Deming, 4228. Appreciate you guys, man. Look at that, super professional. You guys going in? Yes, sir. All right. Absolutely. Oh, well, thank you. Nope, oh, after you guys. All righty. Same age before beauty. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. We're just here to make sure everything goes smoothly. They're just here for a First Amendment audit. So up to you guys whatever you guys want to do yeah, yeah. They, they were just adamant that we couldn't record them only elected officials we told them not to call you guys but they wouldn't listen to us so okay all right that was so, it that was their only hangout we were actually here to see if the city supervisor was in the township he's supervisor. Not. Yeah. Well, that i don't know township office town, township yeah. supervisor yeah. yeah but he's not in, so <laughs> you, so you guys got the one shack was trying to get the rest of no, we're all set. Yeah, we're good, brother. Yeah, 100%. We're good with everything. All right, you guys have a good rest of the day. All right, you too. Oh, they probably hate it. Oh, they're going to hate it. Oh, they're going to hate it. Oh, they're going to hate it. talk about how bad of guys we are. Let's feed it to them with a spoonful of sugar that we got to do. We all watch your guys' stuff. Do you? No, we agree with you. You know who we are? Yeah, I know who you are. Who am I? Freak immediate. Who am I? I love it. Who am I? I don't know who he is. Oh. <laughs> I thought everybody was freaking me. No, I'm Michigan oh. Constitutional Crusader. Oh, all right. Oh, yeah. 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 He has his own channel. Yeah. yeah. Constitutional Crusader. Michigan, Constitutional, Michigan Constitutional, Constitutional Crusader. I'm Tater Tot. He's the one that got Tater 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 fired down in Toronto. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, oh, he got him fired. I got Falsely arrested me. I spent 22 hours in jail, and then three days later...
fired, fired without cause. And I got a ninety-five thousand dollars settlement out of it too. Oh, wow. You know, and you were here to be professional, courteous, cooperative. That's right. That's what we're here for. So awesome. Right. Man. I love yeah. these guys. Man. Heck yeah. <laughs> I love it, man. Yeah. Yeah, everybody what, can be like. What these sucks guys. is because this is a you good interaction, it it's not going to go viral. Right. Because they everybody wants to see the evil. Too. <laughs> yes, <Yeah>. right. <laughs> and we learned, yeah, not to be like that. Exactly. exactly. There you go. The uh, sheriff like in, in uh, Genesee County, Sheriff Swanson, yep. he used my arrest video mm -hmm. for training at the Michigan yeah. Sheriff's Association yep. meeting. Yep. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 Arrest in <laughs> All right, guys. You guys have a good rest. All right, you too, man. Have a good one. Thank you. Yep. What's one way to combat people calling the cops for nothing? That's for the cops who turn up to be perfectly behaved and deal with the call correctly. And that's exactly what these cops did in this clip. They educated the staff and rightly so. And not only this, but they had a great conversation at the end as well. Certainly something that you don't see in most clips. I still don't get how the initial staff thought that the man was only allowed to film certain people. Does that mean that they believe that some people are exempt from being on camera? If so, that's crazy. Thanks for making it to the end of the video, guys. Once again, make sure to like the video if you enjoyed, and subscribe for your daily dose of police encounters.